So you want to know how to create a drop down list on Excel just like this one. It's going to be very simple. Before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So what you're looking at is some sample staff data that I've created. The cells highlighted in yellow represent the salary that one of the employees is receiving. I've used the VLOOKUP formula to calculate what the salary is for this employee. Now I know that in this case, you obviously don't need a drop down list here or a VLOOKUP formula. You can just look down here and see that Michael earns 43,000. But where this would come in handy is when you have the master data on a different sheet or on a different workbook. It also becomes a very clean and sophisticated way to present your data to someone. Now, if I need to find the salary of John, for example, I'll have to type his name in and hit enter and the salary will automatically update. This isn't exactly ideal because first of all, it's not practical to sit and type out each name one by one. And secondly, what if you misspell the name? It's not going to give you the correct answer. So in this situation or in various situations, you'll be better off with a drop down list. So to create the drop down list, all you have to do is select the cell where you want to create the drop down list, go to the data section on your ribbon and select this icon or in some cases it will say data validation. Select that and down here where it says validation criteria, under the allow section, go ahead and select it and click on list. Now you're going to want to select the source of the data which is going to populate this list. So in our case, we want the names. Go ahead and select that and go ahead and click on OK. After clicking OK, you can immediately see that there is a drop down icon right here on the cell. You can click on it and you have the entire list of employees listed right there. And immediately after you select each employee, the salary is now going to get updated with no issues whatsoever. Now watch this video if you want to learn more about VLOOKUP or watch this video. If you found value from this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any doubts, please do leave it in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer you. See you in the next one.